Haleluya. Amen. Tunaweza kuketi kwa wale ambao wanaweza kuketi. Uh, kwanza kabisa napenda kuwasalimu katika jina la Yesu hamjambo. Hamjambo. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Ninashukuru kwa sababu nimetunikwa heshima kubwa sana siku ya leo kuweza kuleta neno la Mungu kwetu. Ni heshima kubwa kwa sababu I have my contemporaries, I have my juniors, I have my seniors. Na vile nilitunukiwa nafasi hii niliona ni heshima kubwa sana. Na ninaomba kwamba Bwana ataweza kunitumia kwa sifa na utukufu wa jina lake. Na ningependa niweze kukaribisha mume wangu aweze kuomba. Bishop Bogonko karibu sana. Kama ni Please pray for the word. Baba katika jina la Yesu tunakuja mbele zako mchana wa leo tunakushukuru e Mungu kwa sababu hatuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe na wakati huu Bwana tunakucha kupeana pole na kusikia neno lako kwa sababu ya dada yetu Bishop Elizabeth naombea Reverend Faith as she speak the word of God kwamba Mungu utamtumia kama chombo kunena na mioyo yetu tunakataa maroho yote ya kinyume every negative spirit we come against you in the name of Jesus na tunatangaza kwamba tutabarikiwa wale wamefushika moyo watatiwa moyo wale wachaokoka wataokoka na sifa na shukurani itakurudia wewe ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini amen amen bwana Yesu asifiwe kuna wimbo unaimba hivi wewe Haulinganishwi kamwe na kitu chochote kile wewe ni wa pekee wewe haulinganishwi kamwe na kitu chochote kile wewe ni wa pekee wewe wewe Haulinganishikamwe na kitu chochote kile wewe ni wa pekee ni wewe ni wewe Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ninataka tukukumbusha hivi ya kwamba hata leo Mungu bado hajashindwa. Naona kuna watu ambao wameniamini wamekaa upande huu. Nataka kusema hivi, hata leo Mungu hajashindwa. We may look like we are losing but we are not losing. The battle belongs to the Lord na bado sisi tunashinda. Nataka kutangaza hadi kuzimu itambue. We have not lost a battle. We are not losers. Mungu bado wako upande wetu. Haleluya. Amen. Biblia inasema hivi katika kitabu cha Sijui ni wewe utanisaidia kushika hivi. Kitabu cha Waibrania Hebrews chapter number 12 Waibrania 12 
mstari wa kwanza ah, Biblia inasema hivi kwa bibi, kwa Kiswahili basi na sisi pia kwa kuwa tunazungukwa na wingu kubwa la mashahidi namna hii na tuweke kando kila mzigo mzito na dhambi ile ituzingayo itu kwa wepesi kwa upesi na tupige pio kwa saburi katika yale mashindano yaliyowekwa mbele yetu tukimtazama Yesu mwenye kuanzisha na mwenye kutimiza imani yetu ambaye kwa ajili ya furaha iliyowekwa mbele yake aliustahimili msalaba na kuidharau aibu naye ameketi mkono wa kuume wa kiti cha enzi cha Mungu kwa Kiingereza mstari wa kwanza unasema wherefore see we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us kama uko mahali hapa na umeokoka kama uko mahali hapa na hujaokoka najua kuna watu wamekuja kwa haya mazishi kwa sababu walimpenda dada Elizabeth kuna wenye wamekuja kwa sababu walisikia scandal wanakuja kudhibitisha kama ni kweli. Kuna wale ambao wamekuja kwa sababu wanapenda jamii ama ni washirika wa kanisa. Kuna wale wanaumia lakini leo nataka kukuambia hivi. Mungu alikuleta hapa usikie neno. Whatever reason brought you here. Nataka kukuhakikishia Mungu alikuleta hapa usikie neno. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maandiko ambayo nimesema inasema ya kwamba tumezingirwa na wingu kubwa sana la mashahidi. Sema wingu kubwa. Na kwa sababu ya hiyo wingu lazima ujue ya kwamba tuko katika mbio. Na hii ndio Bishop Petre amesema haujui wewe utalala aje. Haujui utamaliza namna gani. Kulingana na historia na maono na mipango ya dada yangu na rafiki yangu Elizabeth hakuwa amepanga kwenda saa hii. Haleluya. She had great dreams. Kuna kitu ambacho alikuwa anapenda kushare na mimi sana. She was sharing with me a very personal issue. Na wajeni niwaambie kulingana na maono yake sio hivi ilikuwa iishie. Na lakini kuna kitu ambacho ninataka nikwambie no matter what your dream is ujue uko mioni kuna watu wanakimbia ndani ya safari ndani ya kiwanja ndugu mmoja wa my, my, my husband my brother in law alikuwa mkimbiaji katika nchi ya Kenya alikimbia mpaka akawakilisha nchi yetu katika nchi za nje na siku moja akiwa nakimbia hiki kilikuwa Yugoslavia alikuwa nakimbia kwa juniors alikuwa one of the champions wa 200 meters akiwa nakimbia alikimbia akakimbia kufika pale mbele akawa yeye ndio wa kwanza lakini cameras zikaonyeshana ya kwamba wakati alikuwa nakimbia alikanyaga uh, line na akakuwa disqualified Haleluya. All of us tuko mioni. All of us tuko mioni. Upende usipende, we are on a race. Na katika hii race kuna wale ambao wanaenda 100 meters. Ya unasikia tumezika mtoto wa miaka miwili. Tumezika mimi nilipata mtoto na akafariki immediately. Hiyo ni zile short races. Short races. Kuna wale wanaenda 
wanakimbia namna gani wengi wanakuja kuangalia race ya Elizabeth baada ya leo utasema nini yeye kama hello we are still on uliza jirani yako unakimbia aje eh kuna watu wanaangalia amevaa hivi amejipaka hivi anaongea na nani come on run you Unasema yenyewe yanaopili vizuri lakini kai 
Ana ete shapurado. No, 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 Kidogo kidogo ina 
tutoa ina tuleftisha group like my brother in law alivyo kanyaga akakuwa disqualified don't allow yourself to be disqualified stay on the race nikamwambia Alfred Bogonko mwana wa Mayeka <laughs> leo asubuhi saa mbili na dakika 44 na nusu ulisema hivi niliposema hivi ukasema hivi na bado sasa nikamwambia nilikozika nikaumbia leo sijakuwa na amani sasa nataka uniomba msamaha <laughs> mjue mwenye alinioni umo wako mgusi <laughs> Aliniangalia akaniambia wewe hata unitafuta bwana. Mimi sijakukosea. Eh, hey, na kama unataka nikwambie sorry sikwambi. Nilikuwa na option. Hiyo kitu nipeleke Supreme Court. Si ndio? Option 1. Option 2, tu, tumalizie magistrate court. Sasa hiyo asubuhi. Unajua vile nilimwambia Unaona hapo mahali umeniambia hutasema sorry. Nimechukua hiyo sorry nimekusamea. Hiyo <laughs> yenye hutasema nimeichukua. Alisema sitasema sorry kasa hiyo hiyo bas nimechukua nimekusamea. Trus. Tembea kwa wepesi. Sio lazima watu wakuombe kwa msamaha. Wewe jikaa peke yako unafuta. Alitembea na Yesu. Alipenda mwokozi. That's all I know. I need no other argument. I need nothing else. That is enough for me. And that is the testimony I will carry. Amen. Na ninajua wale ambao wanatuangalia kwa mtandao walifikiri Elizabeth is a nobody. I want to declare this woman is a hero. A giant of faith. A mother and a father. Father's day huyu alikuwa a celebratiwe because she not only mothered she fathered sons. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I will celebrate her because she was a hero and she will remain a hero Amen. in the heroes of faith in Nakuru County. This woman has done what many men cannot do. Mume wangu ni askofu kuna watu wao natafuta mume wangu anamwambia hati niko na mwito nifungulie kanisa mimi nitafanya kazi huyu hapo anatafuta afunguliwe he she would go where giants have failed and do great and awesome things come on let us celebrate this woman of god even as she has departed we celebrate we celebrate bwana yesu asifiwe hallelujah now the bible says kuna hero tumeambiwa because there are many witnesses kwa sababu kuna watazamaji na wasikilizaji wengi. Hawa ni kina nani? 
ukirudi chapter 11 ya Hebrews unakuta the heroes of faith wacha tu nitaje mmoja wa wili alafu nimalizie bwana Yesu asifiwe unakuta hero mmoja ambaye anaitwa Abel Abel alijua kutolea Mungu bila salmon Abel alijua Mungu ni Mungu wa kuheshimishwa na sadaka zangu kwa hivyo alitoa vile Mungu anapenda a hero of faith in giving Mwingine anaitwa Noa. Noa aliamini Mungu. We nimekuwa pasta sasa this is mwaka wangu wa 32 tangu nikuwe mchungaji. Lakini wacha niwaambie in the 32 years ningekuwa nimehudiri 32 years na hakuna mtu ameokoka. Ningerudi kwa Yesu nimuulize hebu ujue vile tutaishi. Sinifanye hivi bwana. Nimesimama kila siku na sema the Bible says her. The one year, two years, thirty years, forty years, fifty years, seventy, ninety, even one ten, one twenty, nobody. A kulam to Aliokoka. I love you, would you back your Kuanini? Vuaku Poeta Nesha, Tubuni, Nimejenga is a fina again, Kosaki Jenga. Now imagine what we're getting at Christmas. Walikuwa kipita mahali anajengea safina. Na unajua kulikuwa kama turkana. Si kama hapa kuna nyeshanga. Ni mahali watoto wanafika class 8. Waja hiyo na vua. <laughs> Alafu. Na wamejenga. Hame tafuta ta. Hame paka. Hame jaripu kuwabia watu. Vua ina kuja. Walikuwa na pita wazema. Wakena Christmas wazema. Kile kichizi. Kina kwa ngusha mwepu. Kuja hini wa onyesha. Kina sema waka kikuta nyesha. Ati 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 ati. Ati tunamalizo na mwa. Amazing, we are at the beach, people. Yeah. Check us out, people. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. It is not how it looks, it is who said it. Yeah. I thank God for Mrs. Noah. Now, a total of Noah. Now, a total of Noah, and I come to a Elizabeth. I love that you're hanging on to this dream and you will make it come to pass. Let the doubters keep doubting. Continue with the vision of your mama because this thing is not dying. Hallelujah! Baadae mfuwa ikanyesha na akaingia kwa heroes of faith. Hallelujah! My favorite is Sarah. Sarah! 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 Sara, Mungu anamwambia atapata mtoto. <laughs> Ata alicheka on a new We, 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 <laughs> Sara, me and Kati Sini, and I'm a clinic, na motirima, and I get a clinic to stand at to go to never to to dress. Tunangia, tuna blog, tunangalia, tunangalia internet. You know, I just ordered my baby coat from France. We can say, Mommy, my doctor said I should be going abroad. Hallelujah. Sasa wanakaka shoshoka ko hapa. Na unajoki zaeka kuna kaharufu kana tebeaka na webo na suwe. Sasa. Ako hapa. Wakisonga, anasonga. Na anasonga na installments. Because ako na kiodo, iko na uji. Wengine waki crave nini ya mebeba kauji na tumapera. Iyo ndio craving. Waki songa anasonga. Nasa anatoka inja anakuja anasema, excuse me mama. Uh, 
daktari wa mifupa akupana. Anasema hapa nataka kuona huyu. Anauliza umeleta mtoto wako? She believed God. Even when I went to stand, she still believed God. Hata kama anajui kunaendanga aje, lakini the miracle had happened. Alipoingia kafika kwa daktari, daktari akamwambia habari nzuri. Eh unaitwa nani? Sara Ibrahim. Uko na miaka ngapi? Niko na 90 nikusaidie aje <laughs> nime ninaona niko na wageni <laughs> alafu kuna swali moja tunaulizana pale na daktari uliona wageni wako lini <laughs> ngaragu ya miaka <laughs> memaliza ame graduate university lakini sasa kalikuwa tu ana half kakijua ninasema niko kwa shida sasa tukaenda study my brother in law walikuwa anafanya zile hits anafanya hit 1 una qualify hit 2 sasa ile ilikuwa noma kabisa ndio sasa wawakilishe uh, world junior athletics akiwa pale nikamwambia mtoto wangu sasa hii this is the one this is the one sasa tumekaa huko juu kwa study tuna watch tuna watch alafu nikamwambia bwana anko anko ni yule amevaa hivi akasema ndio yule anko namwambia nataka leo tushangilie mpaka ashinde <laughs> alikuwa anakimbia 200 meters so mahali anakuja kukaribu kumalizia hapo ndio tulikuwa tumekaa wakafanya audio max get ready Pua! Jama alichomoka. Tukapiga kelele, tukapiga kelele, tukapiga kelele. Mtoto wangu tangu azaliwe anajua shangwe na vigelegele kwa Yesu. Kila mtu wako wewe, ukama, ukama chafi, chafi. Yako, haleluya! 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 Na leo nataka nikuombie wakati utashinda, wale mashahidi watasema haleluya. Usikuwasiku unajua hii ni kitegwa nayo kuanguka ni rahisi lakini ukivaa turabas unatembeana kwa wepesi 
kubeba watu kama na moyo uko na rabas wacha kubeba watu wanakukwaza kwaza wanakuumiza umiza samee mpaka ukikutana na mtu mzima akiwa ngine ni wewe no you look pamera where did i see you did we go to school together you look pamera Ha, ukika kume ni mwenye alikukwaza ukamsamehe ukasonga ukisonganga. Wacheni tuwe gari ya kusonga. Lakini kama haujaokoka, hii kwako itakuwa entertainment. Utasema kale kama makai na wako na madogo shiria, utabaki ukini describe. Halafu mimi nikipigiwa shango nikiingia utakuwa offside. If you here in honor of this great woman, kabisa unajua hujaokoka hujampa Yesu maisha yako ningependa uinue mkono ni kuombe saa hii we will translate you from hell to heaven hivyo ile inaitwa kolopia pa unaingia mbinguni saa hii are you here and you willing to give your life to Jesus inua mkono tutaomba pamoja na wewe mahali popote ulipo mahali popote ulipo anybody you want to give your life to Jesus you want to enter the race You want to enter the race. If you're here, kama hautaki kuinua mkono baada ya ibada. Hii hema imejaa mafuta. Hapa. Hawa ni wachungaji. Hawa ni mabishop. This is the clergy. Ongea na mmoja, umwambie mimi yeye mimi nataka kuokoka. Kuja kinikodemas, tutakuingisha tu. Sisi tumepewa visa, tunapigianga watu muhuri na wanaingia mbinguni. We are the custom officers of the kingdom of God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, yes, yes. Nani mwingine anataka kuokoka? We are custom officers. Sisi tumepewa uhuru wa kuingisha watu kwa ufalme wa Mungu. This is the greatest honor. Heshima kubwa unaweza kumpatia Bishop Elizabeth ni kuingia katika ufalme wa Mungu. Na unajua pengine umeokoka na unabebanga watu. Mimi nataka uachilie tu. Eh, because biguni huoni mmo. By the way kuna watu Bishop Bethwell tunahitaji kuombea kategori nyingine ya wokovu. Ushaona kitabu cha ufunuo hapo mwisho kuna kategori ya wenye hawataingia waoka. Wenye uki black out ikiingia ukiona kate ni nasoma hey, shetani ashindwe na ni upepo imesokesha. Waoka hawaingi. We will be making altar call ya waoka. Todori utaonea view sasa mbinguni haleluya nasema hivyo nikingoja mwenye anataka kuokoka anybody who wants to give their life to Jesus together with my sister the greatest thing na let me tell you the greatest salvation mtoto akizaliwa hivi is real birth is real birth kama wewe ni daktari unajua mtoto akizaliwa asipolia anatwangwa lazima alie that is a sign of life So I'm glad for this lady and this is going to be the greatest testament of what God has done today. Tusimame pamoja tunapomuombea tumuingishe katika ufalme wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Pastor Dan, Bishop Tafadhali tusaidie tumuombe. Right here. Sema nje, sema Bwana Yesu. Alasi Tunakushukuru sana baba wetu katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu ya binti huyu ambaye hakukuonea haya. Biblia inasema ya kwamba atakayenionea haya mbele za watu utamuonea haya mbele za baba. Lakini amekubali kuja na kukubaliana na ujumbe wa mtumishi wako ujumbe utakao mbinguni. Ya kwamba yuko mbioni lakini hawezi kushinda ila awe ndani ya Kristo. Tunamwombea uzima tele. Bible nasema yoyote akiwa ndani ya Kristo Yesu amekuwa kiumbe kipya. Ya kale yamepita. Ya kale yamepita. Yoyote yaliyo nyuma ya binti huyu tunatangaza yamepita. 
na tazama yote yamekuwa mapya leo hii anavuka toka mautini na kuingia uzimani leo hii anafanyika sio mtu wa Mungu lakini mtoto wa Mungu aliyezaliwa sio kwa mawazo na uwezo wa kibinadamu bali kwa uwezo wa roho na mwombea ujazo wa roho mtakatifu tumaini lake lizidi kuwa na nguvu mpe ushirika utakao mlea umsaidie kumtegemea Yesu daima ushuhuda na mbegu iliyopandwa wakati wa kifo na mazishi ya Elizabeth ni kwamba binti mmoja aliyokoka tunakushukuru bwana hii ni ishara tosha ya kwamba roho ya Elizabeth haijapotea tunaomba mwondoko na pendo alilokuwa nalo kwa ajili ya kazi yako litadumu miongoni mwetu utukuzwe Kristo utukuzwe milele kwa jina la Yesu bwana wetu amen 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 glory to god glory to god glory to god now bible nasema kuna furaha mbinguni wakati mwenye dhambi moja wakati mwenye dhambi moja anapogeuka na kuziacha njia zake mbaya na kuja katika ufalme wa Mungu kuna furaha mbinguni wapi furaha katika mazishi ya askofu Elizabeth kwa ajili ya huyu mmoja amen 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 naomba tafadhali niwape dakika chache tu mketi we are almost done wapi makofi ya mhubiri mama yangu reverend faith gogo